What's up guys, it's your girl Frumpy Fit. If you don't know who I am, I'm an online weight loss coach who's dedicated to calling out all the BS in the fitness industry and providing you with accurate fitness nutrition and weight loss information. So today we are reacting to TikToks again, part two. And I have some news, I went viral, seriously. Like I started posting consistently on TikTok five days ago and two of my videos already have over 1.5 million views. It's so funny because three weeks ago in part one, I was like, I don't understand TikTok. TikTok understands me, I guess. So if you want to see a video about me going viral, I can do a separate one. Comment below if you want to see that. But today we are doing reactions. I'm bringing back a return guest from part one because I have new information and I uncovered another TikTok scandal and I'm just going to complain a lot, which it seems like you guys really enjoy. So let's get started. If you turn your attention to this part of the screen, you'll notice that this TikToker is the one we featured first in part one. Turns out she's a dietetic student, which means that she is studying nutrition. Yet she is the one who's putting out bad information on TikTok. It's mind boggling, okay? So we'll watch this one, we'll watch a couple other of hers, and then we'll discuss. So at first glance, this is a good TikTok. She's complaining about all those weight loss drinks that people are promoting on TikTok. But wait, let's watch another one. Did you see what I see? Let's watch one more. First, she's complaining about weight loss elixirs on Instagram and literally in her videos promoting liquids that will help with weight loss. I'm sorry, I'm confused. And so to begin this video, let's just get this clear. Weight loss drinks don't work. They don't. No, the only way you lose weight is calories in, calories out. You need a calorie deficit period. I don't care what you put in a water bottle. It's not gonna help you lose weight, okay? Okay. Up next on today's menu, we are revisiting the Ray Wellness Metabolism Drop Scandal. Okay, so the caption says, please don't buy the metabolism drops. They're not FDA approved and are just a placebo. There are so many healthy alternatives to speed up your metabolism. So we were good in the first half, just tanked in the second half, okay? So yes, these drops are a scam. Don't buy them. They've been um, recalled, so you can't buy them anymore. But the ingredients in them I went over in part one, not effective. Also, I wanna address, she says, they're not FDA approved. Supplements can't be FDA approved. So complaining about a supplement because it's not FDA approved doesn't make sense because it couldn't be approved by the FDA. Now let's chat about the second half of this caption. There are so many healthy alternatives to speed up your metabolism. That is a hard no. There are not lots of alternatives. The reason that these Ray drops don't work and the reason nothing works is the same. Like. Maybe there are illegal substances that will help, but there's nothing that's legal and available for you to purchase or ingest that will help you lose weight, except for a good old calorie deficit, okay? There might be a little tiny bit of scientific evidence that something might help you lose weight, maybe spontaneously, only a little bit, like with all these really negative side effects, so like it's not worth it. Just let go, just release. The idea that anything, any substance will help you lose weight. And in this specific instance, they're talking about green tea. So let's chat about that. Green tea, there is some evidence that certain molecules in green tea might be able to help with weight loss. However, those effects are negated by regular caffeine consumption, which is in green tea. So by drinking green tea to get this molecule that help that might help with weight loss, you are completely canceling out that benefit by consuming the tea because the tea has caffeine in it and if you drink it regularly, you're out. It doesn't work. 
You see what I'm saying? Like people will take one little tiny quote from a scientific article and then turn that into the absolute truth and give everybody advice on that when if you look at the whole picture, it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna teach you how to make- Wait, this girl has my name. She has the same name as me, but it's it has an extra letter. If you don't know, I never say my name on here. My name is Elena. Her name is Elena. She is out here on TikTok giving bad advice. She's my nemesis. Strip away. Add your ice. Some raspberries. Raspberries, raspberry. Peaches. And some lemon. So again, none of those things. Same story is gonna help you with weight loss. This also claims to make your kitty emoji smell good. Stripper water? Really? It's not gonna work. Maybe the raspberries are because of the raspberry ketones, which are in the right wellness drops, which I've already mentioned don't work. As far as the kitty emoji situation, I'm not gonna comment because I don't know. What are you gonna do to lose weight? All right, I'm at work. So for breakfast, we have one egg to three egg whites, um, uh, everything bagel, thin, and just half an apple sliced up. All right, for a snack, Greek yogurt tiramisu, and then half of a Kodak muffin. It's like a protein muffin, just half because it's very. I can already tell this is so few calories. Like, I'm already just like raging inside. Yeah, and carbs. All right, for lunch, we just have grilled chicken, mini potatoes smashed, cooked in the oven, and then cauliflower rice. Next snack, just a chocolate protein shake. It's almond milk, ice cubes, a whole banana, and peanut butter fit. Her sound's cut out, I guess. Okay, so let's add this up, shall we? 1,215 calories for an entire day. And I did a little digging because calorie goals, which is why I have an issue with this, calorie goals are person specific. So the fact that she's saying this is what I eat in a day to lose weight and she's listing her exact calories, people are gonna add it up themselves and figure that that's the amount of calories they should be eating for weight loss. When in actuality, that could be extremely dangerous for some people. So that's why I hate when people post about their calories. And she looks like a personal trainer. Like she looks like she's qualified. So that's the issue. Like to become a personal trainer, you sometimes like the certification that I got, you only had to pass with like a 60% or like a 65% the exam. I passed with like a 92, but um, I also have a degree in exercise science. So even though people might on the outside look like they're qualified, you have to be so careful with who you listen to. She carries the title of personal trainer, which seems trustworthy, but now people are assuming that they need to eat 1200 calories in order to lose weight. Like, are you crazy? This is crazy. So again, I did some digging to see how tall she was, how much she weighed, and I found in the comments, she's 5'2", which means she's petite, which is on the right track, but she's 125 pounds. I calculated it myself using the steps that I highlighted in my how to calculate your calories to lose weight video. Um, 1,215 calories is less than her BMR. So that means she's consuming fewer calories than it takes for her body to survive in a coma. So she is in a severe deficit because that number is the minimum like not including any of the exercise she's doing and she's obviously exercising she has a lot of muscle mass she's a personal trainer i can go on forever about this i'm really stressed like do not ever listen to a calorie recommendation unless it has been calculated for your specific needs please don't okay so this these next couple tiktoks are the tiktok scandal that i found and in this video i've already seen it i've already done my research but i just want to start by saying she does say that she used to have an eating disorder that is very serious i'm extremely sympathetic to her situation she should be working with a professional in order to overcome that i see a lot of eating disorder like tiktoks or comments like my video that went viral i had so many people commenting like or just don't eat like and I, I was panicking like i couldn't re respond to them all and even when i would respond i would say like you're describing an eating eating disorder like please don't say that please get help like message me if you need to and people would just comment to that original poster asking them questions like oh does not eating really work so i just started deleting all of them because i was worried that these young tiktokers were gonna be encouraged to have an eating disorder so like this is so serious so keep that in mind as we jump into watching these tiktoks but this is part of the reason why I'm on TikTok now and doing these types of videos is like somebody needs to come out and very bluntly and seriously let these TikTokers know that like this is not funny. It's not a joke. You shouldn't be sharing your advice. Like 
Like this stuff is requiring a professional's attention, not me, a physician, a dietitian, or a psychologist only. Which is why it really stresses me out that this stuff is on TikTok, but let's jump into it. Hey guys, this is a very easy and effective recipe that will help you lose weight, not gain the Corona 15, and also help boost your immune system. I've been doing it for six weeks and I've lost 21 pounds so far. Once it's boiling, you're going to want to grab the cinnamon. I use cinnamon sticks and blend them, but you can also just use ground cinnamon. They both work just as well. And you're going to put half a teaspoon per cup. I'm doing obviously a bigger batch, but I'll show you guys the servings in a second. Then you're going to grab half a lemon and just squeeze it. You can also use lime. They both work just as well. So now I have the bigger batch and the serving size that I made. I put the bigger batch in the fridge. Um, a lot of people ask me if they have to drink it hot or cold. It doesn't matter. I drink it cold. This is the serving size, so it's one cup of water for every half lemon and half teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm an anxious and bored eater, and the tea has helped me a lot with that, so I think it'll help a lot of people who are also in quarantine. Hope this helps. Like she obviously just wants to help, but she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's claiming this drink boosts your immune system, which is absolutely false. You should not be making claims like that during a global pandemic or ever. Obviously, this drink doesn't help with weight loss. None of them do. It's just like so, there's so many red flags. I'm not going to get into it. But the scandal is about this TikTok and this particular drink and this diet that she's following. So let's watch the next one. Hey guys, so this is about the diet that I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and also a reporter named Susie Ways who did me really dirty from the New York Post. I wasn't really going to post this, but I actually think it's really important to talk about, so here goes nothing. It all started out when she DM'd me and asked to interview me about my tea diet. There are a lot of like screenshots of messages, and I like paused and read all of them, so if you want to do that, you can. I'm going to put the link to the, all of the TikToks in the description, and I'm going to link the reporter's article that she's talking about in the description also. We hopped in a 25 minute call where I shared with her a lot of private information hoping it could reach people that have gone through something similar. I talked about my past eating disorders which is something that I'm still kind of embarrassed about and struggling through. I told her I'm so proud of how far I've come and how I can finally eat three meals without feeling bad about myself and how this tea has honestly really helped me a lot with that. She did ask a few sketchy questions which I will talk about after so I decided to send her a message after the interview was done just to let her know and to have in writing that I don't condone unhealthy weight loss. She seemed very upbeat about the whole thing, and I was very excited to get my story out there and for people to hear what I had to say. That was, of course, until I saw the story and realized that everything I said she had purposely misconstrued, especially the title, because I remember her perfectly asking me if I want to lose weight specifically for spring break. So essentially what happened is the reporter reached out to her to talk to her about the diet. The girl expected the article to be a positive one because her experience with the diet was so great, it was so positive, and what's extra messed up which I don't know if you caught it, but she put some professional photos in that TikTok. The reporter set up a professional photo shoot for this girl and her friends to highlight the diet. Like literally this girl thought that there was gonna be an article coming out with her of cute pictures holding the tea. And really it was like TikTokers do horrible diets in order to lose weight for spring break. So I that's, that was probably really jarring for her. When I saw this, I basically, like, my jaw was on the floor. I was like, and she's still promoting weight loss stuff on TikTok. Like, the whole thing absolutely blows my mind. TikTok is wild, you guys. Okay, this is going to be the last TikTok, and we're going to end with a little bit of a twist. So, thanks for sticking in. Okay, if you've seen my viral TikTok, you might think this is extra funny. She posted this like a week ago, I think, and I posted mine a couple days ago. I had never seen this, I swear, I swear. She's my new favorite TikTok account. I wanted to add a little bit of positivity in here. She's a registered dietitian. She's calling out all the dumb stuff that's on TikTok and providing really cute, like funny educational videos. And that's the end of the video, guys. Comment below, what did you think of the scandal? Like again, all the links are down below. Check it out, let me know. As usual guys, thanks for watching. If you want, share this with somebody, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram if you want, follow me on TikTok, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you, God.